Welcome back to some Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. Shall we see what's going on on our lovely little island? Blech. I've fallen on it today. Apparently I can't speak, which, you know, it's not all that out of the ordinary, shall we say. What's been going on today? Um, I suppose that's Spirit of Error. Art time lapse has been uploaded. Go check it out. It's only like three minutes long if you want. Watch it on double speed if you want, and it's only like a minute and a half. Absolutely no time at all. Anyway, that's, um, I don't know what we're going to do today. I guess we'll be doing some decorations, but... Hello everyone, right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 4.38pm on Monday, October 19th, 2020. No news to share today, but let's give us we got all, okay? Isabel signing off, something like that. <laughs> Didn't probably read it again. Yeah, I guess we're just doing some more terraforming. More tidying stuff away, really. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with her rocks, either. I haven't really thought about that. You know what, dear? Chores are boring and repetitive, but when I'm busy scrubbing away around my home, it's almost like a break. For a little while, I can get something accomplished without having to worry about anything. Know what I mean, Lily? Oh, I know exactly what you mean, Lily. Escapism. Strong thing. Uh, Monday morning. We oh, what do you think about Vivian? Well, I think it's finally time to admit that my planner is lost. I was hoping, holding up hope, but I think it's truly gone. I turned my home inside out, inside out to no avail, so I think I must have dropped it outside somewhere. I don't know what I'll do without it. I can't even remember my own birthday without consulting it. Let me look for it. Really? I'd just about given up hope, but I suppose a fresh set of eyes couldn't hurt. Thank you. I mean, there's only so many places on this island to look, Vivian. I'll do my best. But for now, we'll go about our usual daily chores routine. What have we been up to? Not much. Did I do anything today? Oh, no, not really. <laughs> I played some TFT, I suppose. I I'll be honest, right now is an utterly terrible time to play TFT because it's the game is horribly imbalanced. Not horribly imbalanced. It's just... It's got one dominant strategy, which is um, sort of overtaking everything. Divine Warwick with Static Ship. That's going to be, I don't know, a future reference. <laughs> Dating TFT matters or something. Anyway, not a point. Um, but I still played it anyway, because <laughs> it's just a f thing. I want to play the game, but the game's not in a great state right now. So I'm like, every time I play it, I'm like, man, this feels terrible. Well, it doesn't feel terrible, but it's like, it uh, could be better. So you might say, why don't you just go play some other games instead? I was like, ah, oh, but it's like the morning, you know? <laughs> I don't want to record in the morning. My voice sounds like this. And that sounds terrible. And plus, I don't have the energy in the morning to do that. I'm most productive in the afternoon, as I found out. Through whatever, you know? You know how there's like morning people, evening people, night people, night hours more, morning birds, whatever. Whenever your cicadent rhythms or whatever however you say that word, <laughs> is um, most active. Are we going to get rid of all these flowers? I think we get rid of all these flowers. Um, you know, depends on, like, I don't know, chemicals in your brain or something, like a lot of things do. And um, for me, it's not more, it's not like the early morning. I, I would say I'm more of a morning person than some people, but, you know, comparing myself to the average teenager to young adult is probably not the most impressive comparison. <laughs> I'm not waking up at 6am or anything. I'm long past the days of that. But I don't mind waking up in the morning. It's just a lot of my friends are very much evening and night people. So if I want to do anything with them, I had to do it during night time. Which means that my sort of, you know, your schedule sort of syncs up to fit the people you spend time with, right? Something like that. We've got, uh, I guess we'll be clearing out Fuchsia's home. <laughs> These two random cliffs here, I guess. Um, four random flowers there. I'm just trying to look around for um, Vivian's journal, wherever she might have dropped it. I guess we'll pick these weeds as well, because we probably shouldn't let them grow forever. It'd be quite a nuisance, wouldn't it? As fun as it is. As nice as it is to have some weeds in some places, I can't really see what's going on back here. <laughs> this is just excessive. Um... So it seems our visitor must be like Gulliver, or something. Someone of that ilk. Because we haven't really seen anyone walking around. It could, I mean, it still could be Flick or CJ. Let's not rule them out quite yet. I just deem it unlikely, given our circumstances. And I don't think we had Gulliver or Gulliver last week. Anyway, so yeah. So yeah, try to play some tier 2. Um, it's in a bit of a weird state right now. <laughs> So, I'm not sure if I continue playing. Maybe I'll just do more drawing, more, some more programming. That sort of dealio. Probably, probably better for me. 
not not better for me as in like oh wow this is healthy for me <laughs> or anything it's just you know it, it's pretty neutral if anything um just like uh so i'm not playing and being like oh man you know why, why would i waste my time doing something which i'm like uh this isn't this is like a four out of ten fun when i could be doing something which isn't you know like a six out of ten fun at least i already know this recipe oh like um playing some spirit bearer started that i saw i've only recorded one episode of that to be honest um <laughs> I'm having a nice time with it though. It's just, I didn't have enough time yesterday to record some more. Have we spoken to you for a while, Amelia? I'm not sure. It makes Fawn Hollow look as, as if it could be a background for a fashion shoot. Um, I've also been trying to look around to find Vivian's diary. I don't know where you've dropped it, Vivian. <laughs> I've not seen any of it. Oh, we have CJ today. Vivian, it seems like your diary doesn't exist. The limit does not exist. What's up, Raymond? Okay, you're sleeping. Huh? Where am I? Who are you? What's going on? Oh, well, I guess I just fell asleep. <laughs> Very easy to fall asleep outside um, in the, the warm weather. Uh, Vivian, I think your diary doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> haven't we walked everywhere? We must have missed a spot or something. Because I have not found it. Oh well, uh, I guess we'll hop on over to- oh, you know what? Before we do that, let's um, get some fish for CJ so he can make a new statue for us. That's the thing with like, whole people being morning people, or evening people, whatever. You know, part of me does want to question some of the people who say they're morning people. Are they actually morning people? Oh, uh, sorry, uh, night hours, I mean. Uh, which one should we do? Is it their actually night hours, or is it that they just have bad sleeping, <laughs> a bad sleep schedule currently? Oh, which one should we do? We've got quite a few options. I didn't realise how many fish we had <laughs> uh, saved up. Let's do a ribbon eel. That seems fun. We bought the candy, right? You know, cicadian rhythms and all that. I don't even know what that means. Is it? Is it literally named because of cicadas? Circadian rhythm, or do they have like the same word derivation? You know, I, I'd rather have a Wikipedia page on it. Oh, actually, circadian. Hold on, how do you say it? Gotta open up Google. Define circadian. Circadian. Recurring naturally on a 24 hour cycle, even in the absence of light fluctuations. Oh, interesting. A 24 hour cycle. I feel like we haven't spoken to you for ages, CJ, because I can't be bothered to do your C Sports Challenge, to be honest. But I will get a commission from your partner. Say hi to Flick for me. And take this ribbon eel. Yes, please. Um, driven by a circadian clock. <laughs> so not circadian, circadian. It's been knighted, you know? Terrible joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you think Vivian's like... Where, where, where is Vivian's diary? <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to read this. There's a very um, technologically focused Wikipedia article right there. What on earth is that ice skater pattern or something? Sylvana's walking around here. I don't know. Because I always thought, like, um... Wow, this is... A f Literally, a figure skating costume. Um, I feel like, see, because it's not one of the options, being like an afternoon afternoon person, right? But I feel like that describes me best. Am I a morning person? No, I don't want to wake up at 6am, but that's a bit too early. 8am to 9am is fine, depending on what I did the day before, what time I went to sleep. I understand this is designed by someone from any aisle. It's a unique style. Um, oh, I say we said anything different. It's sort of silly since I'm inside a shop all day, but sunny weather helps me work faster. Or maybe it's just I'm making shorter sleeves? Quite possible. I mean, you're currently not making any sleeves at all for your current clothes. It's a bit bizarre they only wear aprons. You would have thought they, they might have updated their clothing, but maybe it's um, too iconic at this point. I don't think we actually spoke with you for like years. What's the latest? 
days getting away from me. Aren't all days just like that? So anyway, um, yeah, I don't consider myself a morning person, but I still do all right in the morning. With that sort of thing, it's not too bad. I can get up and stuff. It's just like, give me the option. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't choose to. I think the day starting at nine or eight. That's a good time. Starting at six or seven, maybe a bit too early. But I will say, whenever you get up early in the morning. I'm just like, wow, I have so much time in the day. <laughs> I will say, I, I'm definitely not a night owl, because, you know, some people work really well at, like, 3am, you know, witching hour, 12 to 3am or whatever. Not me, I am very tired at that point. <laughs> My brain is dead at that point. That point. I'm very much, you know, retired for the day mentally. The only thing I can do at that point is play games, simple games, which I don't have to think about. <laughs> Or just talk, you know? Talking's always easy. It's demonstrated by the fact that I've done it for half an hour at least each day. For about 200 days now. You might say, that's kind of excessive. And I say, yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> but it's fun. It's crazy being a night person, though, you know? If, like, I I'm speaking hypotheticals, like, imagining the situation, you know? Like, being most productive at night, which is... Must be very disappointing, not because you know the whole world currently operates on a very day-focused cycle, die, die, day, day-focused day um, time period, right? Rather than night-focused, so it's um, ever so difficult to um, adjust and be like, oh man, I'm most productive right now. Let's go uh, to the bank and sort out something. Oh, you can't because uh, the bank's not open because it's um, 2 a.m. And you're like, oh, all right then. Guess I'll do something else, but you can't. Go ahead and go get some groceries done, shopping done. Uh, you can't because it's uh, 2 a.m. And there's not many 24-hour grocery stores nearby. I mean, there might be some for you, I don't know. But not for me. Um, instead of having actual bridges for now, we're going to have these temporary bridges. Uh, that's not how you do it. Because I'm sick of jumping over cliffs. I just want to walk. But we're doing this because I don't know um, how far along I need to extend this cliff. So I'm going to go over here and consult. To be fair, I don't think we've even moved Rowan's house yet, so probably that's not something to decide yet. We don't know how far out we're going to be extending this. I think I do want it to sort of curl around though. So I guess we can decide on this side for ourselves and then see how it'll go. So we want it to go like this and then I think I kind of want it to curl down a bit but I don't want it to curl too far because that will take out too much space. Maybe I do just want it to go sort of straight across. It's hard, it's really hard. Either way we need to, um, let's go up here and start getting rid of Fuchsia's decorations. Nothing personal Fuchsia, just um, it's time for us to move on from our old stylings. Oh, I guess we should get rid of these cliffs as well. Why don't we just have like half the people in the world? You know, we, we should just have different working schedules for people who are nighttime productive and daytime productive, you know? Just like have grocery stores run 24 hours a day, but just like have them rotate out with night workers and day workers or something, <laughs> you know? There's obviously probably like millions of laws with my plan, but you know, just like I feel bad for the people who have night schedules, not night schedules, but you know, well I mean, yes night schedules, I suppose if you've got the graveyard shift then kind of sucks for you, <laughs> if um you've got to get anything done I suppose during the, the daytime, but you know, it's like taxing them out, if we just split the world, you know, like you can take some psycho, you, you can take like psychological, not psychological, but like um DNA tests or whatever and they tell you yours circadian rhythm. I had to think about that for a second. And what you should follow. Why not, you know, just do that. And then be like, oh, look, <laughs> now we split the world in two. <laughs> if you're a person, if you're an early bird, then you can go by the day cycle. If you're a night owl, you can go by the night cycle. Obviously, this has many flaws in it because, you know, that kind of, you know, mass segregation of everyone is <laughs> probably not a good idea. I'm just like, 
if I want to do grocery shopping at 4am, maybe I should be allowed to. <laughs> of course, it's a terrible idea, very, very selfish idea. I'm being facetious by the way, I've got it. You know, because not everyone wants to be a grocery worker at 4am. And, you know, not everyone has night sleep schedules and all that sort of thing. I don't even have a night sleep schedule, so I don't know why I'm ad advocating for this so much. I'm perfectly fine with the daytime operation of a world. So perhaps we should keep it that way. It's just a... I don't know. Isn't it strange? Like, how many things are actually 24 hours in our world? Like, you've you got some 24-hour stores, alright? Emergency services, you know, makes sense. You, if you didn't have 24-hour emergency services, that'd be kind of strange, to say the least. Um, what else operates 24 hours? I don't know. That's like, things like bank, you know, bank, banks. You know, they, they have such, like, small calling hours. They're always doing working hours. It's just like... What do you do if you're a person who works a night shift? What are you going to do? You're going <laughs> to do the equivalent of waking up at 2am if you're a daytime worker person and call your bank to sort out your details? That sounds horrible. It sounds absolutely horrid. And you would have thought with modern technology, the fact we got lights and everything, we can, you know, operate. The world can operate 24 hours, that sort of thing. We just don't have enough people or the resources for it. Well, we do, but it's not distributed well enough for it to... Um, be done, I suppose. A few too many people holding a few too much um, money, perhaps, you might say. And also, maybe the world doesn't really want that. And probably for good reason. It's, um, be quite a big shift, you know? It's sort of thing that, that people say, be like, oh, why don't we just, because in the UK, we use basically metric units for everything except for for some reason we use in distances we use miles and speed limits are all in miles per hour for whatever reason it's like why don't we just shift to more to kilometers well the thing is like the infrastructure cost and all that and the, the big shift for people to get used to is probably not going to work out well so d despite it being a less logical way for things to happen you know um we just can't we just gotta stick with this tradition for now of the way we do things because there's not many other options. I suppose we can start designing what we want with some museum place to look like. I've seen a lot of designs of museums of like lots of waterfalls surrounding it. That seems quite nice. We might have something like that. I don't know. I feel like we want a symmetrical river going on. Or maybe we don't. I suppose from this side, we because we're going to have it as a very mountainous area, we can have a tiny stream trickling down. To give a sense of symmetry. Might be interesting, or a sense of anti symmetry. I never actually checked, is this properly the middle two spots? Oh, there it is! The middle two spots on our island. Um, just, we just don't got enough space for it to pick it up, Vivian. Hold on. Maybe you can just have like specialist night stores or whatever. Be like, oh, this is a grocery store, but it's open at night time. Probably a very bad business venture. Um, I wouldn't really reckon. <laughs> I wouldn't really try doing it as a business venture. Okay, my my Joy-Con just extremely loudly vibrated for some reason there. I don't know, don't really know what was up with that. Let's see if we can catch Vivian. Return her diary to her. Where, wherever she's gone. She was somewhere around here, wasn't she? Hmm. Oh, there you are. I wonder how many times we're going to run into each other today, Poppet. Here's your lost item, eh? Oh, Poppet, you actually managed to find my planner. I'm ecstatic. How can I ever thank you enough? I'm so relieved. Thanks to you, please. I must reward you somehow. What have you given us there, Vivian? Darling, you more than deserve a frilly dress for helping me out so very much. Thank you. What does a frilly dress look like? Your pockets are full. Oh, um, place item. Ooh, actually looks quite nice. Oh, we've been just changing outfits there, you know, in the middle of the island. No big deal. Not weird or anything. Anyway. <laughs> Day-night cycles. It's crazy things. 
don't know why I randomly thought this, but it reminds me of like a biology experiment I did back in year nine or whatever. Oh, um, we're gonna have to think about which furniture items we need to sell and which ones we don't. Sell more wood fencing. We can scare this. Sell, sell this. These things we can sell because they're easy recipes. I can't remember if that's a recipe or not. These are definitely not recipes. And we can sell, not that, this, this. I think the scarecrow is a recipe, but I'm not certain. And I think the barrel might be as well. Sell all of those. He has a biology experiment. Um, I feel like I, start, I told this story before, I'm not sure. I did back in year nine, where um, we had to basically grow flowers on an alien planet, quote quote. So some people did with, some people did it with like, uh, the alien planet had no water, or it was sandy, or it was like, I don't know what else people did. <laughs> I think those are the only two ones. And I did, and my one was, um, it had a longer day-night cycle. So I kept it in the cupboard for two days, and then I put it under a light for two days or something. And uh, I can show you that uh, basically nothing changed. <laughs> a storage is full. Well, that's not good. Let's see if we've got a new song, though. Imperial cake. I'm pretty sure we had this. Um, we had to clear out our storage. A bit of spring cleaning going on here. Huh? Um, right, what can we get rid of? I guess we don't need all these pumpkins. Probably don't need all these fruit stacks as well. Any resources we don't need that much of are probably bees. Not that one. Um, I guess we don't need this many star fragments either. Perhaps we should actually make stuff with the star fragments, huh? We could probably sell these fences. Oh, I didn't mean to exit out. So, um, shove these away. For now. See what duplicate furniture items we got. Not all that many nowadays, huh? Yeah, so it was not a very fruitful um, science experiment we I had going on there. You know, it's, maybe it's just nature's calling. I mean, it probably is nature's calling. Being like, we should work, operate on the day schedule. Being that that's when the sun is out and that's when, when we can like see things to do stuff Which is you know a, a big help when you want to oh these are both quite nice Which is you know a big help when you want to get things done being able to see what you're doing is often important Some would wager Not everyone I'm sure some people would be like oh you know if you're blind I guess I don't know where I was going with that it's a horrible joke Pockets are full Alright, let's get rid of this stuff then. Um, no, I guess fast food joints, a lot of them are 24 hours as well. A lot of the big McDonald's are 24 hours, that I can think of at least. Like in London. You know, maybe you just like live in London or whatever. Or whatever big city, I'm sure. Your city never sleeps. I don't know, which city is that? The city that never sleeps. Is that New York? Probably. Alright, let's sell these extraneous goods, which we no longer require. Sold! As we... I don't know, what else? I mean, I guess hotels operate 24 hours. I mean, that kind of makes sense. You've got people lodging there. They might have... Actually, do not all hotels probably operate 24 hours. I'm sure the front desk is sometimes closed. It'd be a terrible situation though. If a situation arrives at, arises at night time where you're like, oh no. This is no good whatsoever. Um, I guess the question becomes then. If there was like a, a law being like, oh. Everything now operates at 24 hours, you know, the world's going to be split in two. Would you rather be the morning person or the night person? You know, for me personally, the fact that I'm an afternoon person, I don't know which I'd rather be. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes my, my, my first instinct was like, oh, I'll be the night person, you know. I like the nightlife. Well, not like nightlife, like clubbing life or anything, but like the quietness of it. 
Don't have to go run into loads of people. It's, it's just you. But then, that's not really true anymore, if a world's split in two, I suppose. If half the people have to do it. Maybe it's like a volunteer system. <laughs> kind of sucks for the families and stuff as well, now I think about it as well. Because what if your partner was, um... I suppose we'll get rid of his path while we're doing it. What if your partner was a morning person and you were a night person? You just, like, can't see each other anymore. I mean, I suppose that already happens if you work a, a regular shift hours and then... Your partner works night shift hours. But I suppose then you can at least change jobs or whatever. I think this reminds me of something I saw ages ago where it was like an experiment. Some I can't remember what country it was ages ago. Maybe it was like Russia or something. They had like a, a theoretical work week with everyone working hours that were like slightly offset from each other. I can't remember why though. That was a thing. So basically, um, maybe let's stick with the status quo, because I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to coming up for ideas for how the world should be run. I'm just, you know, kind of here living in it, as most of us are. Just the experts or something. This Joy-Con Drift, would you mind, you know, actually laying over the paths I want you to lay over? Hmm. I don't know what services should be 24 hours. I just think any service... Well, the only services you'd theoretically need to access at night would be things you do at night, which should already be operational at night time, or things like an emergency, which are already operational 24 hours, so maybe, you know, it's not so bad how we got it right now. <laughs> just putting that out there, me. To myself, I suppose. I don't know who I'm talking to when I say this. Fuchsia's house has nearly been cleared out. We've got a few more flowers. And I guess we've got the bushes here, but we can leave them like that for now. And then we can have... We need to stop thinking about how we can decorate this museum area. I think on the left side of the museum, we should have waterfalls to represent that water side. And on the right side, maybe it should be a bit more mountainous. And then we could put like statues of little bugs and creatures around and flowers and all that sort of thing. Make it feel like a wildlife area. That'd be pretty cool. Except for it's meant to be overlapping into the snowy area, so that's a bit mysterious. And I'm not really sure what air decorations are. <laughs> Maybe you have one of those Japanese koi wind things. Oh, low battery. Oh, that's fine. We've only got three minutes left, two minutes left. It's terrible now because both my Joy-Con, all four of my Joy-Cons have Joy-Con drift. <laughs> oh gosh. Which is um a bit of a problem. Luckily, I don't need much precision. When it comes to these sort of games. Animal Crossing is a big, big do whatever, huh? Alright, alright. We've got a couple minutes left. We can we can start sort of visually planning out the museum area. So I want it to be where do I want it to be? Here? Here, is this the exact halfway point? Um, it does not look like it's the halfway mark. Hold on a minute. So this is probably... Or is this the halfway? And each acre is 16 by 16, right? So this is a halfway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, it is a halfway mark. Just past me, I guess. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is the other halfway mark. Sorry, the other edge. Just checking if we walk over here, we step over the edge. Hmm. Okay, so this is our halfway point. Right here, this is where the museum goes. I guess we just want to put like a load of flowers and um, statuettes down. Surrounding the museum so it looks like I'm, you're walking through like a forest. Oh, I suppose this is where we could put a lot of different trees. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. And we have... Maybe we don't need as big a waterfall area. We have, like, a mini waterfall going on, like, surrounding the museum. And maybe we, we should make... We should have it, like, steps, like, skipping stones or whatever you can 
do to get up to the museum. I don't know. Just theorising. Anyway, shall we round this episode off here? <laughs> Done a bit more clearing up. I don't know what I talked about. Day night cycles, I guess. But um, anyway, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I've been Dear Darling. Oh, what do you think about Caesar? Hey dear, been looking all over for you. Remember how you wanted a pot rack? Well, I got one for you. No, I don't actually. You didn't tell me you wanted one of these. Pop it. Come on, brain. I'm counting on you. Oh well, take it anyway. Well, any likes, comments, and subscriptions, and pot racks apparently, are greatly appreciated. And if you want, join me dear darling Discord down in the description below. Hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's so farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.